Once a parametric cell is created, it can be added to the data group catalog system and placed using the object tool. This involves creating a catalog item and then linking the cell to that item. Variables can be mapped to existing catalog properties, or they can be left as is, making them available to be changed when placing the cell, but not a property that is scheduled. Let's start by going to the building design workflow and selecting the data reporting ribbon. From here, we can open the catalog editor. Select one of your existing catalog types, such as equipment retail. Right click on the catalog type and select new catalog item. Give the new catalog item a name, save it to the work set, in the existing XML file, or you can create a new XML file. Once the new catalog item is created, you can begin to define some of its properties, the most important being to link it to the parametric cell. First, define the cell type. Make sure to select cell parametric. Then select the cell from the drop-down list. When you select the cell, Another dialog will open, allowing you to choose one of the variations you created. This could be done if you are interested in creating fixed catalog items for a number of sync variations, perhaps several syncs from a particular manufacturer, but we're going to create a more generic catalog item that can be modified on the fly. So do not select a variation and simply select Cancel. There are several dimensions associated with this catalog type. These can be mapped to the variables in our cell. So for instance, we can map the length property to the total LR variable and the width property to the total FB variable. If there are properties that you do not want to map to a variable, you may want to hide them so it is not confusing to the user. Then you will want to add default values for these variables. The remaining variables will still be available on the placement dialog. You can also add default values for other properties as needed. You can also select a family in part. This will become the active family in part when the object is selected for placement. Once you are finished adding properties, save the new catalog item. A thumbnail will be created. And then close the dialog. The object is now complete and ready for placement in your model. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.